Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation. Shalom, 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 Yasharal and Yahuda. Grafted in Gentiles into the body of Hamashiach. We give Yahuwah praise for having chosen us to be a watchman on the wall. We serve the Most High Yahuwah Aluwa. We're listening to Hezekiah. Song is entitled The Most High. I don't own the rights to this music. Yisrael, hear the word of Yahuwah. Hear the trump. Hear the shofar. the word of Yahuwah. Hear the decree of Yahuwah. You must receive the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. You have to receive his Ruach HaKadosh. Yahuwah, the words that you've given me to give to them, I'm praying that you would speak that you would take the reins of my lips and the reins of my tongue and reign. That you would allow the words that I speak to be spirit and life. From my belly may rivers of living water flow. Yahuwah, I can do nothing without you. But I can do all things with you. And I submit to myself to the Ruach HaKadosh. Yahuwah, may I not cause anyone to stumble. May I not cause anyone to, to go astray, to be turned out of the way. Yahuwah, you have mandated me to wake up Yaakov to declare that they need to receive the witness. Yahuwah, I'm going to do what your word declares. I'm going to do what you have called me to do. I am going to say that which you have called me to say. Yahuwah, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. For your word is a lamp unto our feet, a light unto our pathway. The entrance of your word gives light and gives understanding to the simple. A young man, a young woman's ways are cleansed by taking heed to your word. You giving them the Ruach HaKadosh, the capacity to keep your word, you have declared it. You said, I will sprinkle you with clean water and I will put my Ruach HaKadosh in you that you will keep my statutes and my judgments. Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua Mashiach, I pray. I thank you. We have the Most High. Hezekiah's song is entitled Most High. We have the Most High. I don't want to write to this music. We got the most. Listen. We serve the most high. We who have been established in this witness, right? Right, right. Because the only way you can really serve Yahuwah is in Yahushua Hamashiach. Having received the witness, having been, 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 um, received by Yahuwah, right, right, right. Because see, an established, being established in this witness, right, you've received the water and the blood and the Ruach HaKadosh. You've received the sacrifice. Yahuwah has received the sacrifice of Yahushua and the Shamaim. And because he hid, he's not mad at you anymore. You who have received the witness, I mean, you got to come through the, you got to come through the water and the blood. You got to come through the Ruach HaKadosh. You know, once you've received this witness, you ain't mad at you no more. You have the most high. You are Yasharal, truly. <laughs> Some of y'all ain't going to like that. But listen, it's the truth. It's in establishing, it's in, in receiving the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach that puts you in the family of you and Alua. 
Yahuwah, the only way to get access into the kingdom of Yahuwah, into a relationship with Yahuwah, to be sons and daughters of Yahuwah, is through receiving this witness, right? And not all Yasharal is going to be Yasharal, right? You have to have received the witness of Yusha Mashiach. You have to be established in this truth. You have to be established in the water, the blood, and the Ruach HaKadosh. Listen, listen, listen. There's no other way. Yahuwah told me to warn you. He said, watch men. Warn the people. Right? Because if you warn them, then I will not require their blood at your hands. Listen. Make no mistake about it. I'm going to tell you. You need to be born again of the water and the Ruach HaKadosh. You know, I'm going to tell you that you have to be established in this witness. I'm going to tell you, you must receive the Ruach HaKadosh. I'm going to tell you that whether you want to hear it or not. Just like your forefathers, your forefathers had the prophets speaking a word to them, declaring a word to them, but yet they didn't want to receive it. But that prophet kept saying that word, sometimes for years until the manifestation of the judgment came. And those who were prepared, those who had received it, those who had turned from their ways and were established in Yahuwah were delivered, but those who didn't were swallowed up, taken into captivity. You gotta receive this witness. <laughs> you gotta receive this witness, bro. You gotta receive this witness. You 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 don't want to end up like your forefathers. You don't want to end up like your forefathers. You don't want the final judgment. Right, right, because you know, you know, he, this whole going into slavery again—that's done. No, that's done. The only thing that's left is judgment. You know, that's judgment. That's judgment. The only thing left is judgment, final judgment. Right. Listen, you got to receive this witness, man. If y'all want, y'all, you got to receive this witness. This witness is life. This witness is deliverance. This this witness is eternal life. You gotta receive this witness. Listen, we're in Corinthians, First Corinthians, and we have gotten to the sixteenth chapter, which is the final chapter in this first letter to the church at Corinthians. It's the it's the final chapter, right, in this letter. And what we have to understand is, is that the book of Corinthians is a book that speaks strongly to what we do in relationship to love amongst one another. Right? We, we can't seek our own desire. We we can't be motivated by what we want. Matter of fact, let's recap the twelve, the uh, the First Corinthians, before we get into that sixteenth chapter. Uh, okay, here we go. Matter of fact, let's just go. Let's go and start clicking back. So, so, so let's recap the book of First Corinthians, right? So, in First Corinthians, we understand Paul's in the first chapter deals with unity, right? And how it's important in Hamashiach to understand that we are all one. We are unified, right? In his first chapter, Shaul talks about how they come behind and no gifts, how they have the Ruach HaKadosh in operation, you know, how, 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 you know, um, um, they, root, they move in the manifestation of the gifts and, you know, but they kernel. <laughs> or they are new converts, right? 
Well, they have the Ruach condition. They love moving in the gifts, but they lack spiritual discipline. Right. They struggling and arguing over stuff that should not even be part of the equation. Right. So Shaul gets into this discussion with these Corinthians about mores. I'm of Apollos. I'm of Cephas. I'm of Shaul. Right? As if Yahuwah has created this division amongst the apostles or amongst the mores. Yahuwah gives them all an anointing to do what he does. Their administration is different, but the outcome still still should be the same, the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, and to get you to that end, right? Yeah, you know, Apollos was eloquent. <laughs> Apollos knew the Torah persuade you of the Torah. Right? Shaul, you know, he was new to Torah. Shaul was rough and gruff. You know, they said Shaul probably had a, maybe a slight impediment in his speech, right? Right? But, you know, and then Cephas, he was Cephas. He was Hebrew, you know. You know, son of thunder. No, that, no, Peter was a... Was he son? No, I think that was Peter. Well, anyway, you know, they all had their different personalities. Right? They all had their different personalities, but you who will use them all because it's Ruako. Because we are all one body. And because we all have the same goal. We all recognize that we need each other to get the job done. Right? So Shaul, you know, he, he, he was talking to them in the first chapter of Corinthians and, you know, he was talking to them how, you know, you know, you know, they, they're motivated by the wrong things, right? Right? He says in that 12th, in that 23rd verse, but he said, well, we preach you who shall Mashiach crucified, right? Unto the Jews, the stumbling block, unto the Greeks, foolishness, but unto them which are called both Jews, Yehudim and Greek, who Yushmashiach is the power of Alua and the wisdom of Alua. Listen, so me, Apollos, Shaul, I mean, I mean Cephas, we all preach Yushmashiach and him crucified, right? Yeah, there's differences, but these differences shouldn't polarize us. These differences shouldn't separate us. These differences shouldn't push us away, right? These differences should bring us together, right? So he says, he says, uh, um, in that in that thirtieth verse, he says, "But of him uh, are ye in Hamashiach, who is who Alua is made unto wisdom and righteousness, sanctification and redemption." So. Yahushua, this witness, has brought to you wisdom. This wisdom, this witness has brought to you righteousness. This witness has brought to you sanctification. This witness has brought to you redemption, right? Right? You need to understand that this is not about division. This is not about my, 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 uh, uh, assembly in your assembly. Listen, this ain't an assembly in my name and an assembly in your name and assembly in his name. This ain't about all of these different assemblies. It's about the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach and him crucified. See, divisions, man, that gender strife and confusion. Everybody running around trying to do their own thing. It's a Yahushua thing. It's a witness of Yahushua Hamashiach thing. Listen, you better get a clue. It's love, brethren.
There's no difference. You know, sometimes, you know, I, you can feel it, man, amongst some of these assemblies. How, you know, they feel like they got a superior lock on you. What? Are you kidding me? Yahushua, Yahuwah got people that are, that are, that are as of equal of, in, 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 in establishment of, of, of men and women for the kingdom. Come on, listen. You gotta understand. You gotta understand. So, Shaul goes on to continue to say, listen, you got to learn how to trust in the Ruach HaKadosh. Right? You gotta trust in the Ruach HaKadosh and you gotta do the things that are necessary to bring about unity. Right? Paul says, and I, brethren, in that second chapter, came not unto you of the excellency of speech, declaring to you a testimony of Yushamashia. So Paul is trying to establish that, you know, listen, you know, I'm not Apollos. I ain't come with you with this excellency of speech. You know, I'm not Cephas. You know, I'm not them. You know, I, I came in demonstration. You know, he says, I came determined and not to know anything among you, Savior, Hushamashiach, Kushka. I'm no authority on anything except Yahushua HaMashiach and Him crucified. That's all I come to tell you. You know, I mean, I mean, that's that's because because at the end of the day, that's what's going to bring you into the witness of Yahushua. That's going to bring you into Yeshua, right? It's going to bring you into Yeshua. You know, I mean, it ain't about me expounding on Torah, right? What you need to understand, Yahushua Mashiach and him crucified. Now, I can tie him to Torah because I know Torah. But, you know, all you need to know is Yahushua Mashiach and him crucified to be establishing this witness. You just need to know that he has died for your sins and he is alive. And if you can believe that Yahushua died for your sins and that he's alive, then that's what? You well on your way. He said, that's what I do. Look, I don't, I don't, I, he said, but we speak the wisdom of Alua in mystery, even the hidden with wisdom, which Alua ordained before the world un, unto our glory. So the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, right? The witness of Yahushua Hamashiach is what we preach. And that's all Shaul says, it's all we are determined to know amongst you. He says in that, in that 13 verse, that second chapter, he says, now that, let's go to that 12 first. He says, now we have received not the Ruach of this world, but the Ruach of Alua, because we are in this witness, that we might know the things that are freely known of Yahuwah. The only way you're going to know the things that Yahuwah wants you to freely know is by the Ruach HaKadosh, right? You ain't going to have no understanding apart from the Ruach HaKadosh. That's why you run around here talking about, you know, Yahuwah don't require blood. It's, he gonna redeem us for his name's sake. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yahushua, his name's sake is all about blood. His sacrifice as the lamb, the son, Yahushua, who's named after Yahuwah. Come on, man. Listen. The wisdom of Yahuwah is by the Ruach HaKadosh. He says, which things also we speak not in the words which a man's wisdom teach, because you know you you out here talking what you understand, right? But which the Ruach Hakadosh teaches. I'm teaching what the Ruach Hakadosh teaches. You know what I'm saying? I'm teaching what Yahuwah gives me in the Ruach Hakadosh to give to you. That's why he warns you. He said, "Listen, you need to you need to you need to not call Yahushua a curse." Right, you need to understand that this witness is all about the ruach and the and, and ruach Hakadosh and the witness of Yahushua. You need to understand there ain't no peace sock without Yahushua. Uh, peace sock pointed to the Lamb of Yahuwah to take away the sins of the world. He says, "Listen." But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit. So you know, you who are, 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 are not desiring to know the truth, right? You who are not in the, not willing to release your emu not in what you hear, right? Right? You are a natural man relying on your natural abilities 
to discern something that's ruach. <laughs> listen, listen. You can't discern this stuff without the ruach akadesh. You're not going to understand it. That's why Yahuwah sent Yahusha. That's why Yahusha established his dominion in the arrest. That's why he has provided for us this Ruach HaKadosh that is going to be a revealer of truth in this age that we're in. Yeah, the Ruach HaKadosh, man. He said, but the natural man receiving not the things of the Ruach HaKadosh of Alua. He ain't going to receive them, right? Right? For they are foolishness to him. You listen to me, man. You say that man's foolish. He's foolish. <laughs> I'm that watchman that you declare is foolish. <laughs> but I'm still going to warn you because this foolish watchman, right, is rendering your judgment because you won't have an ear to hear. Hallelujah, you better hear the word, bro. Listen, listen. For they are foolishness to him, neither can he know them. You ain't going to be able to understand this. You ain't going to be able to discern this unless you apply that mustard seed of emu nah. And then Yahuwah will honor that and he will make you alive to this truth. He will bring you to repentance. He will lead you to the water. He will have you accept the blood. And then you will ask him to receive the Ruach HaKadosh. It will happen. But listen, you can't discern this by applying your mental assent to it. It just ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. He says, but he that, he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself judges no man. Listen, the Ruach HaKadosh is a judge, right? The Ruach HaKadosh is the judge. The Ruach HaKadosh is the spirit of truth. The Ruach HaKadosh is going to reveal all truth. He's going to reveal all truth. The Ruach HaKadosh. He says, but who haveth known the mind of Adonai? All right, but understood this, that they may instruct him. Right? But we who are in this witness have the mind of Hamashiach. Let this mind that was in Hamashiach, Yahushua, be in you. The Ruach HaKadosh of truth. The Ruach of wisdom and understanding, the Ruach of counsel of might, the Ruach of knowledge, the Ruach of fear of Yahuwah was in Yahushua Hamashiach. You have to let this Ruach HaKadosh, the mind of Yahushua Hamashiach, be in you. Listen, okay, so let's go to chapter 3. We got to get through these pretty quick here. Uh, chapter 3. Chapter 3 says, right, now, Shaul, he, he gets to dealing with um, how we need to understand how important it is to deal with people who are spiritually weak, right? Yeah, you've received the witness. Yeah, you have been w w received the water, the blood, and the Ruach HaKadosh. But listen, you're still weak in Imuna. You're still weak. You got to be strengthened. You got to be disciplined. And I, as a mature individual, must recognize this. He said, brethren, I could not speak to you as unto spiritual, but as carnal unto babes, because you don't know how to act. You don't know how to act. Yeah, you got the Ruach HaKadosh. Yeah, you got the blood. Yeah, you got the water, but, you know, you get into arguments, and I'm of a Paul, and I'm of a <laughs> You get into the stuff that, the the don't even matter because at the end of the day, Yahuwah is in charge of them all, right? 
He says, and then, you know, you arguing that I'm a Paul and I'm a Apollos. He said, look, th these, these things ought not be. You know, listen, I, I, I plant Apollo waters and you will give the increase. Or you Apollo plant and I water and you will give the increase. It's all Yahuwah, right? They, they're so caught up in stuff that doesn't matter because they're, they're babes and they're yet carnal, right? And they're carnal not because they commit, not because they willfully choose to commit sin. That's not the carnality that he's referring to. He's referring to the fact that they operate in their minds, right? without having renewed and regenerated these things. <laughs> you know, listen, this is spiritual discipline. You got to fast, you got to pray, you got to bring your mind and your thoughts under the authority of the Ruach HaKadosh and the word of truth, right? You have to be renewed in the spirit of your mind. You got to Get the mastery over your mind. But they don't have that yet, right? They don't have that, man, right? Now, they should have been, they should have been doing what they supposed to because, you know, it got reported unto Paul that, you know, they ain't busy with contentions and stripes, right? They speak, now, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna begin to recap it all because I know what's happening. They going they gonna get they get off in the operation of the rule rock and the gifts and you know they just going off and you know they yet carnal you know they got a brother up here that's sleeping with his father's wife and ain't nobody doing a, nothing about it and it's commonly reported to Shaul and Shaul said listen man what are you doing stop it. Because that's what you tell a baby. You tell a baby, stop that. Don't touch that. Leave that alone. No. Stop it. I got to talk to you like, babe, stop it. Stop this this, this, this valueless argument about me being better than Apollos or Apollos being better than me. Stop these acts of, 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 um, showing no preference to your weaker brethren, you know? Yeah, you can eat meat, and yeah, what's an idol to you? But your brother can't eat it because it's a condemnation to him. It's a consciousness of sin. You don't want to cause him to stumble. Don't cause him to stumble. You got to love your brother. <laughs> These things you ought to know. And if you were spiritual then you wouldn't have these issues. If you were spiritual, you wouldn't be walking around here uh, offending your brother, thinking that you can because you have liberty. <laughs> he got to just get over it. <laughs> I can eat meat. He got to get over it. No, no. Yeah, you can eat meat, but you got to bring your brother along until he gets to a place where... That's not an issue. Yeah, you can drink wine, but your brother may can drink wine. So you can't bring that in him, bring that before him. Listen, you got to take precautions for your brother. You got to watch out for him because you know what? That's why you, Husha says you got to love one another. You got to be concerned about your brother. You got to be concerned about your sister. Listen, this witness is about others. Everything that Shaul was talking about had to do with how we need to operate in love with one another. You know, but y'all, you know, y'all, y'all, you know, y'all going off in tongues and, you know, not discerning how to operate in spiritual gifts. You know, and I'm not telling you not to speak in tongues. Shaul said, like, look, I wish you spoke his tongue as much as I do. But listen, if you're going to do these things, you don't want confusion. You got to have a gift of interpretation and in operation. You know, you got to have somebody interpret. All of these things are directly attached to how you love your brother because you do not want your brother to stumble. You want to bring your brother along. You want your brother to operate in unity, one with the other. I understand this, 
right? So, you know, Shaul was dealing with these things. He was dealing with these. He was dealing with these things. So, let's just go right into the the, the 16th chapter, right? So, we're getting the conclusion to the letter in the 16th chapter, you know. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me hit chapter five. Shaul said, look, it, it was commonly reported among me that there is fornication. How you gonna, how you gonna, how you gonna have a, a assembly and you know everybody telling you that this brother is committing fornication and you don't do nothing about it. His brother committed fornication. Y'all got the Ruach HaKadosh, right? But ain't nobody got no discernment. Brothers got to be arrested. <laughs> Come on, man. Listen, carnal, carnal, carnal. You're yet carnal. You're yet carnal. Listen, you know this brother's committing fornication. You know he's sinning. You got to do something about that. Y'all operating in the gifts of the Ruach Right. Carnal. Verse 16. Yet carnal. Yet carnal. Yet carnal. Yet carnal. Yet carnal. Shaul. made it his business to get this witness and to preach this witness and to bring correction when error was present in relationship to this witness. I'm just one crying in the wilderness. I'm just one of you who has established me to be a watchman. Call me to be a watchman. Keep my eyes on, on things. Declare the word that I've given you. So we get to the 16th chapter, final chapter. And there's 24 verses, right? Paul ends this letter with, now concerning the collection for the saints. So evidently, they were collecting money to disperse to the poor in Jerusalem. Right. Right. Because, you know, again, they were going through. You know, they were finding it hard to make sure the people were taken care of. And Shaul was like, now concerning the collection for the saints, the collection for the saints. As I have given orders to the church of Galatia, even so do ye. Listen, I told the church of Galatia, listen, you need to uh, lay aside something, right? So that we can take it and, and bring it to the saints in Jerusalem, right? Right? And the land, Jerusalem, right? He says, Upon the first day of the week, let every one of you lay by him in store, as Alua hath or, or as hath prospered him. Alua, that word Alua is added, right? So, as he has prospered him, that there be no gathering when I come. So, you know, listen, I'm going to be there. But when I be there, make sure that you take something and lay it up every first day of the week. Right? Upon the first day of the week, let every man. So, every first, first day of every week, put something away. As you instruction, 
you know, whatever you would gives you, whatever you would tells you to give, she lay it out, right, right. And what I'm do that there be no gathering when I come. So when I come, you know, everything is ready. I'm just ready to go with it. And I want everybody trying to get up and gather stuff up and pack stuff away and, you know, whatever you got. No, make sure it's ready by the time I get there. He says. And when I come, whomsoever ye shall approve by letter, then will I send to bring your liberty to Jerusalem. So whomever from amongst you, because I ain't going to take it. Whoever from amongst you, they going to accompany me with what you have, right? Take to Jerusalem, right? And if it be me that I go also, they shall go with me. And if it's necessary for me to go also, then they shall go with me. At any rate, we're going to be prepared to receive an offering to present to the church in Jerusalem. Right? Now, let's go on. He says in the sixth verse, fifth verse. Now I will come unto you when I shall pass through Macedonia, right? For I do pass through Macedonia, his route, right? And it may be that I will abide, yea, and winter with you, that ye may bring me on my journey wherever I go. So I when I come, I may come to spend the winter with you, right? And having spent the winter with you, when I come, you can come on the journey with me when we go to Jerusalem, right? He says, right? And it may be that I will abide, yea, and winter with you, that ye may bring me on my journey with serve. I go, for I will not see you now by the way, but I trust to tarry while with you, if Adonai permits. So I'm not coming now, but when I do come, around the winter time, I hope to hang out with you. Spend time with the brethren in the winter time, right? And then once we finish, we can make our way, right? He says, but I will tarry at Ephesus until Pentecost. So I'm going to hang out in Ephesus until Pentecost. After Pentecost, I'm going to make my way, right? He says, for a great door and effectual is open unto me, and there are many adversaries. So he says, I got an opportunity to do the work, right? But there are many adversaries, right? Every, there's, there's much opposition, you know, and mostly Shaul, Macedonian, um, and Ephesus, you know, you know, Shaul, Spent quality time in Ephesus, right? And he had adversaries. You know, Shaul had adversaries everywhere he went. He had the Yahudim that was constantly undermining him. And then he had, you know, the people who were worshiping Diana, you know, of the Ephesians. You know, and, you know, Shaul ran into some problems with that. <laughs> yeah, he was expecting them. Uh, affecting the, the, the money flow. <laughs> so he had much adversaries there, right? But Shaul was about doing the work, right? He was about getting it done. He was about being the watchman, right? Now, he says, Now if Timothy has come, see that he may be with you without fear. Now if Timothy comes to you, don't keep Take care of him, right? Don't leave him in a place where he has a concern about his safety or concern about safety. Listen, take care of him, right? He says, see that he 
may be with you without fear, for he worketh the work of the Lua as also I. Listen, you got to take care of him like you take care of me. You know what we, we're up against. You know, we, you know the struggles that we face. You know, you know that there's people that are going to be out to take his life. You know, don't leave that brother without a covering. Don't leave that brother without protection. Don't leave that brother without the confidence of knowing that you're going to be there for him just like you're going to be there for me. Right? He says, let no man therefore despise him. Don't let nobody... Don't let nobody do evil to Timothy. Don't let nobody hinder Timothy, right? But uh, conduct him forth in peace that he may come on to me for I look for him with the brethren. So listen, you know, make sure that he's taken care of because I need him. I need him and the brethren, right? He's essential to me. Right? He said, let no man therefore despise him. Right? Don't let nobody set up traps and, and stumbling blocks and, and opposition, walls and barriers. Right? But conduct him forth in peace. Let him move freely in peace. That he may come unto me because I need him unto me. Right? For I look for him and the brethren. I look for him. Right? He says, listen. He said, listen. As touching our brother, as touching brother Apollos, I greatly desire him to come unto you with the brethren, but his will was not at all to come at this time. I wanted Apollos to come with me, but Apollos wasn't having it. <laughs> Apollos wasn't coming at this time. And you know, I'm sure Shaul wanted him to come just to validate the fact that, you know, there's no dissension that exists between him and Apollos. They are together in unity, moving forward, right? He said, but touching Brother Apollos, I greatly desired him to come unto you with the brethren, but his will was not at all to come at this time, but he will come when he shall have convenient time. So Shaul, like he, he wants his will to come right now. But when he get a chance, when it's convenient for him, he gonna, he gonna make his way that way, right? He said, watch ye. Watch. Be that shofar. Stand fast in this witness. And in Imuna. Right? Quit you like men. Be strong. Be strong. Right? Be steadfast. Be unmovable. Be established in this witness. Be established in this Ruach HaKadosh. Right? Deal with sin in the body. Judge righteously. Love the brethren. Promote these things. Right? Be steadfast in the teachings that you have received of me. Right? And he says, listen, let all your things be done with love, with agape. Demonstrate agape one with the other. Show the love of Yahuwah in what you do for your brother. For your sisters. He says, listen. I beseech you, brother. You know the house of Stephan. That it is the 
first fruits of Archaea. And they had addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints. So Stephanus has an assembly. He's the first fruits of those that are at Archaea. Right? They have an addiction to doing for the saints, to the code of sheen. They want to serve the code of sheen. They have the gifts of help. They look to serve. That you submit yourselves unto such. Submit to them. And to everyone that helpeth with and laboreth. Everyone that helps, everyone that labors, everyone submit yourselves one to another. This is agape. It's the reason for the letter, agape. You need to have love one to another. And love looks like this not vaunted itself. It's not puffed up. Love demonstrates itself. If I have the tongues of men and angels and I don't de demonstrate his love, all I'm doing is making noise. He says, he says, I am glad of the coming of Stephan Stephanus and Fortunus and Archaeus. For that which was lacking on your parts, they have supplied. These three brothers went and gathered up offerings and made their way to you. And I am happy about what they have done. And you should make sure that you do everything to help them in their labor. Because we have a job to do. We love the saints in Jerusalem and we have to take them an offering. They are the brethren. He said, listen. For they have refreshed my Ruach annuals. They've refreshed us. Therefore, acknowledge ye them excuse me, that are such. They have, they have been a blessing to us. Acknowledge them. Acknowledge them. My prayer is that you would understand your role in this witness, having received the water, the blood, and the Ruach HaKadosh, and be established in the love of the brother by demonstration. Not vaunting yourself. He says, the church of Asia salutes you. Aquila and Priscilla, you know, they the tent makers, salute you much in Yahuwah with the church that is, with the assembly that is in their house. Aquila and Priscilla had an assembly in their house, right? Fortunus, Stephanus, Stephanus had uh, uh, the first fruits of Archaeus in his house. He had assembly, right? See, the saints gathered to pray, to read the word, and to grow in grace, to minister to the needs of one another. They gathered in their houses. Gathered in their houses. 
he says, verse 20, all the brethren greet you. Greet ye one another with a holy kiss. Demonstrate your love to your brother. Right? Demonstrate your love to them with a holy kiss. Now we know what a holy kiss is. Right. He said, the salutations of Shaul with my own my own hands. So Shaul said, I'm writing this letter with my own hands. Right. If any man loves not Adonai Yahusha, let him be Amanatha Maranatha. Your strong has shut down my ability to, to in the blue letter to access. <laughs> access words, right? So let him be. I I I need to know that that word. He says, uh, let me see, it's Greek, so let's see. Uh, let me see, A N A. I'm just going to take the time to look this up because I got a strong concordance. It's just so much easier when I can pull it up and they do it for me. A N A T A N A T. Okay, that word in the Greek Aramathatha or Aramathama is cursed. Right? So the Greek word is rendered cursed or accursed or a non-believer or a Hamashiach hater. So all you bruised that don't want to receive the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, you are our mouth. Anathema. Anathema. You are a hater of Hamashiach. You are accursed. He said, listen. He said, listen. If any man love not Adonai Yahushua Hamashiach, he's a hater. He's accursed. Right? He's a hater. He's accursed. Let me see what that Maranatha is. It's probably a similar thing. I'm, 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 I'm guessing. M A M A R M A R A N M A R M A M A R A M A M A M A R Here it is. That is Lord, our Lord, our Aramaic phrase expressed of Hamashiach's return compared with the thought in. Okay, so the idea is if any man love not Hamashiach Yahushua, let him be, right? Aramath. Was it Aramath? Um, 
and expressive of Hamashiach's return compared with the same thought in, uh, okay, I don't really got me all that way, but, so, it is our, the term is our Lord, um, let him be accursed, accursed from our Lord, I guess that's what that means, because it means our Lord. So let him be a cursed, a hater of our Lord, right? So the grace of Adonai, Yahushua Mashiach, be with you. Amen. My beloved, my, my love be with you and all, you in all Hamashiach. Amen. So. Corinthians, the first letter we have completed. And again, we understand that Shaul's motivation, and he closes with it, is the love, right? That we should have in Hamashiach, right? For Hamashiach and for one another. That's the goal of the letter. And to demonstrate how love works. How love works with the gifts. How love works amongst our brother. Right? What does that look like? And how we are to demonstrate it. Right? Right? Yahweh, I give you praise for your word in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, for it is a lamp unto our feet, a light unto our pathway. I thank you for this letter of the Corinthians that Shaul has recorded. I pray that this word would bring life and peace continually to the hearers. Yahuwah, that your word would always point to the necessity of this witness that you have caused me to preach, to declare as your watchman. Yahuwah, I declare your word to be life and peace and medicine. Yahuwah, let it be so. And Yahuwah, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Yahuwah, my strength and my redeemer. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Man of Yah, woman of Yah. This one we got through pretty quick. Pretty quick. And again, you know, Yahuwah's word goes out and um, doesn't return void. I pray that you would receive his witness and hear the word of this prophet that Yahuwah is using to declare to you the witness. So, that's so all I have, man of Yah, woman of Yah. Called the greatness, woman of Yahuwah, beautifully and wonderfully made. Look, today Yahuwah has favored you. Walk in his favor. Be established in this witness. And share his word to those who you know have an ear to hear. It's that I say. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Be blessed. The Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. The Torah Nation.